Welcome into to Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, August 12th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. We got some primetime games to get into. Late night action, so let's get right into it. Heading to St. Petersburg, Florida for the Tampa Bay Rays and the Houston Astros. 6.50 Eastern start time. It's Framber Valdez, the lefty going for the Strohs. Up against Taj Bradley for the Rays. Seven and a hook being the total. Houston anywhere between minus 122 and minus 132 as I'm talking Monday morning. Guys, looking to get on the Astros in this one. 62 and 55. They've won five straight games. 33 runs in this in this kind of good playing of baseball. They just swept the Boston Red Sox. And they got Valdez on the hill. They won the last three starts. He took the bump. Eight and two thirds, just one hit given up last time against the Texas Rangers. He's riding a hot left hand here, and he's up against Taj Bradley, a guy that we've bet on this season. If you've been watching the show, however, his last couple starts, he he he's struggled a little bit. Fifteen hits, nine earned runs in those last two starts. He actually went three and a third, five earned runs, four walks last year against the Astros. So not a great great pass performance against this lineup. He's going to be seeing so. Overall, I think we get the starting pitching edge, a Houston Astros team playing some good baseball right now. Let's jump on them. Low watermark, minus 122. It's the Astros over the Rays to start us off. Heading to Fenway Park up next, 7-10 Eastern time. It's Tyler Molle and the Texas Rangers up against Brian Bayo and the Boston Red Sox. Minus 130, that's the Sox as the home favorite. Total of nine. 55 and 63 for the Rangers. They've fallen off a little bit. And they've also struggled on the road, just 24 and 36 outside of Arlington. Tyler Molle, their starter here, he's only had one start off of the IL. He's the guy in my notes I've had circled to look to bet against. His velocity was down in the minors, in the rehab starts. He went five innings, five hits, only two strikeouts in his first start. And the velocity, sure enough, was just at 91. That's down like two miles an hour from his career average. So not really looking to bet on him. But at the same time, Bayo, the Boston Red Sox starter, he's got up over a five ERA. He's going mostly five, six innings, giving up like three, four earned runs. He's given up 18 home runs this season. Boston's lost four straight. They just gave up 31 runs in those last four games. They got swept. We just talked about the Houston Astros. They're the team that they swept. So not really looking to lay a price with Boston. But at the same time, I think both starting pitchers could struggle a little bit here. And over the last two months, I mean, both of these bullpens rank in the bottom five across MLB. So I think there's going to be a bunch of runs scored in this, guys. Uh, hitters ballpark looks like 10 miles an hour blowing out to center field. Let's go up and over nine. I think this thing gets into uh, the double digits. So over nine, Rangers and Red Sox. Next one up, we're heading to Milwaukee for the L.A. Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers. Freddie Peralta on the hill for the Brew Crew. Clayton Kershaw, the veteran lefty on the hill for the Dodgers. Total of eight, minus 105. Pick the winner in this one. The Dodgers come in 20 games over 500. The Brewers, 17 over 500. This is first place in the NL Central, first place in the NL West. Dodgers did just win three straight, sweeping the Pittsburgh Pirates. However, they have lost the last two times Kershaw's taken the bump. And he's a guy, if you've been watching the show, we, we've been fading him with some success. You know, he's only throwing 89 miles per hour. He's had three starts this season off, coming off the IL. He's really just going three or four innings, so not getting depth. He's given up 17 hits in those three starts, 10 runs, and just 12 innings. So Kershaw's a guy we're looking to fade until further notice. He's up against Peralta, 4 ERA, guy that racks up strikeouts, 155 strikeouts on the season. Brewers lineup's been hotter. They got the better bullpen by my numbers. They won five of six, picked the winner. Let's go with the home team, Brewers over the Dodgers. Heading to the night slate up next, the West Coast night slate, that is, and Anaheim, actually. It's the LA Angels and the Toronto Blue Jays. 9.38 Eastern, 6.38 Pacific start time here. The Blue Jays going with Bowden Francis, Davis Daniel, the starter for the Halos. Looks like uh, LA minus 107, about a pick em price again in this one. Total of nine. You know, Blue Jays, 10 games under 500. They lost just lost two straight at home to the Oakland A's. Little travel worries really for both teams in this one. They were just in Toronto, now going out to LA. Uh, no off day. 
Uh, same thing with the Angels. They were in New York and then in Washington, D.C., no off day, now playing at home. So not really a bet on for, for either schedule spot. Kind of go with the starting pitching angle in this one. Francis for the Jays, a bullpen starter. Last time out, five innings, two earned, three hits against the Orioles. Pretty, you know, that's a good start. But when you look at his overall metrics, not all that great. And he's up against Davis Daniel, the 27-year-old out of Auburn. Uh, up and down. Um, some really good starts. You know, he's got an eight inning, zero earned against the Tigers on his resume this year. But he's also got a couple, you know, three innings, seven earned runs, not a whole lot of sample size with him. But going up against the Blue Jays lineup that that really hasn't been all that great since the All-Star break. And the Angels have the bullpen edge as well. Hey, pick the winner. Let's jump on the Halos over the Blue Jays at home. One game left here, guys. If you could smash that like button, comment below. It helps out the algorithm. All is welcome. Premium picks, wager talk, Drew Martin experts page. All right, guys. Last game up, San Francisco Giants, Atlanta Braves in the nightcap, 945 Eastern time. Chris Sale versus Blake Snell. Good pitching matchup here between the Southpaws. Six in the hook being the total. Giants, slight home favorites, minus 110. The Braves, what, just Four, five games over 500. They've lost seven of their last eight, um, not playing their best baseball. Up against the Giants, two games over 500. Uh, they have won three of their last four, and they got Snell on the hill. You know, just two starts ago, he threw a no-hitter against the Cincinnati Reds. Um, however, last year against the Atlanta Braves, he had two starts, eight innings, six earned runs, seven walks. So not good pass performance for Snell against this lineup, although – Keep in mind, it's not necessarily, you know, in the in the, the same ballpark as last year. And uh, they are a little bit banged up top, talking about the Braves. However, they got set Sale on the hill. I mean, I love betting on Chris Sale. You know, the big, tall, lefty, throwing hard. I mean, if Sale wasn't in their rotation, it'd be really bad for the Braves. But I'm looking to bet on them when Sale takes the bump. 2-7 ERA, 2-2 FIP, 165 strikeouts on the season. He did go up against the Giants earlier this season. Six innings, three hits, one earned, nine strikeouts. Great pass performance there. Uh, the Braves have been better against lefties, and they've started to hit the ball pretty well. Top 10 weighted runs created over the last two weeks across MLB. So they're the hotter lineup here, listing Sale as the starter. In the nightcap, we're going the Atlanta Braves, plus 100 as the slight dog. Got to have Sale on the hill. So Chris Sale and the Atlanta Braves. We got the Angels over the Blue Jays, minus 107. We got the Brewers, minus 105 over the Dodgers. We get the Texas Rangers, Boston Red Sox up and over nine. That is the show best bet, guys. Rangers and Red Sox over. And we get the Houston Astros, minus 122 with Framber Valdez going for the Strohs over the Rays. That's going to do it for the Monday show, Drew's Daily Diamond. Smash that like button, comment below, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.